hello. We're at Old Key West Resort. We're gonna go check in and go find our room. Yeah, we've never been here before and this seems like a very large resort. It seems like such a calm and quiet resort. I'm so excited. Yeah, let's go get our room. Let's go. such a different feel from the other DVC resorts because this one feels calm and quiet and collected versus like the boardwalk which is normally hustle and bustle and the Riviera which is hustle and bustle. <laughs> so it's nice. It, it, but it doesn't feel like deserted. Yeah. You know like when we stayed at the boardwalk it was Disney was still mostly closed. Right. So it was weird there was nobody there but like here there's like nobody here, but it's not weird. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, there's still life, but it's calm. All right, into the general store? Yeah, Iconic Class General Store. Cargo and provisions. Here's all of the DVC stuff, which is just so cute. I mostly like this polo. And I like that shirt up there. This is definitely my style. And this polo, which was just so cute with the little details. Yeah, a little bit. Mugs legit. Don't forget the spirit jersey. All of this is just the regular like DVC stuff, which is at most of the resorts. I would buy all of this. Now we just have to become DVC members. <laughs> How you doing, Mike? Well, that's kind of <laughs> we got our room. We checked out the store and now we're gonna go find the room. We just have to, it says, they said that it's just like right down the road. So hopefully we don't get lost. It seems very much larger than most resorts. Yeah. So. I'm so excited. And you just can't hide it. And I just can't hide it. Here's the nice thing. The building where we checked in was over here and that's where Olivia's is. And then we got to park in this parking lot, which is nice. Look like there's gonna be anybody. Not that many people. Spots. And then we today are staying in 1615. So the first floor right here. So let's go find our room. Yeah. Wow, these are huge. 1615 to the left. Look at this. Like, I don't know if this is two different things, but. These are huge. 1615, we're coming for you. Cute husband. Hello. Right there in the end. 1615. Wow. Here we go. All right. 1615. And we get two beds, look at that. Wow, and a little sitting area. A DVD player. This little TV. I know you can rent DVDs here. Oh, a little kitchen area. This is a pretty spacious bathroom too. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You know what they don't have here? I'm not seeing the like um, real silverware. It looks like they've switched to plastic. I think all of the DVC resorts are plastic right now with the coronavirus. Yeah. They get across the room across Aww. the board. Cute. <sighs> okay, I'm pretty excited about this. I don't know. So much room for activities. <laughs> you sit here or there or there. Let's see, I can't quite get all that one. Yeah, it's a golf course. Welcome to 2020 where you've been in your own hotel room for five minutes and you forget you have a mask on. 
Masks are off inside. Silly me. Welcome to our room. Welcome to our deluxe studio. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So not a fan, huh? No, it takes forever. Even with my years of Boy Scout experience of raising things on flagpoles. Uh, <laughs> less than desirable system there. Yeah. yeah just simple yeah. curtains would have been better. Good morning. Good morning. And hello from our old Key West Studio Deluxe room. Deluxe Studio. Deluxe Studio. Studio Deluxe. Studio Deluxe. <laughs> Come on, let's go take a look. Yeah. Welcome to my crib. Welcome to my crib, yo. So, Mike, what did you like most about this room? Um, the space is really nice. Like, compared to the other deluxe studio we stayed in at the boardwalk, there's there's quite a bit more space in here. Uh, you got two beds, two queen-size beds, so you can do all the activities that you need to do sleeping-wise for four people. <laughs> Easy. I mean, there'd absolutely be no problem for four people to stay in this room. Lots of space. Yeah. It's fun times. I really like the balcony. We didn't actually get to use it that much on this trip, and it doesn't have quite the same view as the boardwalk did. Obviously, looking at Spaceship Earth all night was amazing. amazing. Um, but out here, you do have lots of space. You have two chairs, you can look at the golf course, and there's a little fountain out there. Really nice, very peaceful. This is a very nice balcony. Yes, I like that it's, it's pocket size, but like, get that with a deluxe studio. Yeah. So you've got quite a bit of room here, though. It's a nice little place to have coffee or, you know, some breakfast. Also, Mickey Shadows. Mickey Shadows. Mickey Shadows. So between the two beds, you do have a nightstand here. There's just the one, so if you're on the outer sides, no nightstand for you. With it being DVC Deluxe, they do have a DVD player, which does have USB ports there, so that's pretty cool. Is that a USB or an HDMI? Well, it looks more like USB. Yeah, it looks like USB. Could be. It says HDMI up there, though, so... Bring all your cables, figure it out. <laughs> um, and then there's just that's an awful noise. But squeaky squeaky drawers. There's a drawer with the squeakiness. Then over here we've got a nice uh, little sitting area. Earlier Mike was drinking some coffee here, hanging out, very perfect. This room goes into another room, so if you've got a two bedroom villa or anything like that, it extends, but we actually had some neighbors last night that were <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those things that's endemic yeah. with an extension room. But, but super nice space if you're a family who wants to tag on an extra room. For sure. I think that's one of the best parts about DVC is like you can just add on all these rooms and have so much space for your entire family. Yes. Um, here is the kitchen. So there's the microwave, there's a coffee maker. And a nice little mini fridge. Mini fridge. But it is a fairly large mini fridge. I mean, there's fan holders and really and tons of space. Yeah. Little and a little mini, slots. little a little mini freezer. A little mini freezer. You can't fit a lot, but you can fit a little bit. You could stick like one pizza in there. Yeah, exactly. And then underneath, they've got some paper towel, some more towels, which is nice. Trash can. Yeah. Everything right now is disposable, so they've got the disposable coffee cups, disposable... Cup cups. Cup cups, silverware. Disposable silverware, plates, bowls. Yeah. Toaster. And then, like always, it does the come... the snacks. Yeah, we brought all the snacks. The room does come with decaf and regular coffee, which we... We made a pot of regular, yeah. Um, it is French roast, so it is a dark roast. Yeah. If you're into that. If you're into it, there is creamer, there's some sugar, you know, all the basic like coffee stuff. And then we've obviously brought our own snacks because you can't travel without snacks. Oh. There's also some Twining's uh, tea. And I think this is common for most DVC resorts. There's a can opener and a um, corkscrew. Corkscrew bottle opener contraption. So. Yeah. You uh, can really stretch your legs and get your own food here. Yeah. As long as you can microwave it. As long as you can microwave it. Because there's no range, there's no oven, like some yeah. of the bigger rooms. 
Oh yeah, I see. Yep. No, this is just like a, a little pocket size kitchen. There's a nice storage closet with extra pillows and blankets, which I actually ended up using the extra blanket last night. There's a vacuum ironing board and iron. safe. To keep your stuff safe. <laughs> and then the bathroom, which is just a really normal sized bathroom, but there's lots of space, you know, you don't feel super cramped, which is nice. And instead of, uh, like some of the other DVC resorts we've stayed at had a lot of the, like, the lotion individually, but then the um, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash is Disney sized. I did really like the shower head and the tub is a really nice big pretty big tub. So Yeah. Big success there. Big fan. Big big fan, big fan. We were only here one night, so kinda of sad we can't hang out more here. But it was really nice. It was definitely some nice yeah. digs. Yeah. We spent almost all the time here. Yeah. Well yeah. <laughs> Old Key West is a resort. Super great. Really a sleeper hit. I mean, I have not heard much about Old Key West. We've never been to Old Key West. Yeah. We've been to a lot of the DVC resorts, just kind of willy-nilly, let's go see Hang what's out. there. And Old Key West has never been one of those. One of the ones even remotely on our radar. Yeah, so like he was saying, Old Key West has just never been one of the ones on our radar. Um, and I'm so surprised because the bar was really good. The gurgling suitcase was oh, good. Yeah. The Goods To Go was amazing. Olivia's, Olivia's cafe was phenomenal. Oh, magnifico. <laughs> I am completely blown away. And then the resort itself is just so calm and relaxing and has this like, I don't know, I really, I know it sounds silly because like obviously you come to Disney to vacation, but I really felt like we were on vacation, like we were at... Key West. At Key West, at a resort. Like yeah. it was so peaceful. The pace here is definitely much slower mm -hmm. than other resorts and everything is nice and chill. And it's not that there's not that many people here because they were saying that Olivia's had an almost an hour wait yesterday. We had neighbors, we've seen people walk throughout the property so it's, you know, occupancy is definitely picking up. It's just so peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. Big fan. And it's, I think it's laid out to be that way too. Yeah. That they give people lots of space the things aren't cramped, and you can just really relax here at Oki West. So it is 10.05, so we are packing up. packing up, and then we're gonna head over to Hollywood Studios for the day. Yay! Yeah. I think we might go stop by the gift store, or gift shop, because you, you have to do that, right? Magnet, right? You have to. We don't make the rules, like, Sorry. yeah. Thank you for watching our room tour.